subscribe to my channel so today i have a not so good video today um this past week has been very very rough for us um so starting from last week i had filmed a video saying about like my six week update and stuff like that then on the tuesday of last week in the morning it was about half past ten i remember it very well um i had started spotting but it was like very very light bleeding like if um, you had like a little scratch and you had wiped yourself and it was just like the littlest amount of blood um so on the tuesday i had phoned the hospital and i said to them that i had started bleeding started spotting sorry and um i wanted to get checked out straight away because previously i had a miscarriage too and that ended the same way this one ended um this video is a little bit hard for me to film because it's very it's a very hard thing to go through um but last week on the tuesday yeah i started spotting i phoned up the hospital and they says they can't do nothing for me for 24 hours because they think it wasn't they thought it wasn't as bad so later that night it was getting a little bit heavier then um the next day i had this i had a scan um i think it was about half past one the bleeding started getting a little bit heavier and um when they done the scan they says that baby's heartbeat has stopped beating and i was going to miscarry the baby maybe that week which i did i did it on my own um i didn't want to do it on my own so yeah he gave me the doctor gave me three options and they were one you can you can pass everything naturally and you won't need to do anything else two you can take the pills and sit sit in hospital all day and you basically pee in a like a like a little pan and every time you do the doctor comes in and he has to take it away and check if that was the baby or not or um three was a dnc now um i've been through them all so the tablets the last time did not work for me my my body did not want to pass everything by itself um, so the DMC was the one that I was really really wanting because I would go in in the morning and the surgery would take at least 15 to 20 minutes then um, I'd go back in the ward and that would be me doing that would be, everything would be cleared I wouldn't have to worry about anything else so um, to have scheduled a scan for me to have on the 7th of April um, to see if the baby's heartbeat would have started beating again or if not then I would get the DMC that day um, but on the 4th I think it was the 4th of April I I started so it started about twelve o'clock in the afternoon. My stomach was it felt like I was going to in, into labour. Um, my stomach was tightening. I was loosening, tightening, and the pains were so so bad. Um, I believe I passed the baby at um, it must have been about two o'clock in the afternoon. I passed the baby and I ended up going into 
hospital that day as well because I was just in so much pain and my stomach I felt like I had just given birth um, there was so much pressure so much pressure down there even in my bum as well um, it was it was a very weird feeling but um, the whole day I just couldn't I was just I was so emotional because the week before I had just seen I just seen my baby on this on the screen with a heartbeat and it was beating so good. Um but yeah, on the fourth I it was Easter Sunday as well. So I had to drop the girls off at my mum's house and we stayed there for a few hours because I was in I had to go to hospital for a few hours and they had done like swabs and taken everything out inside I don't know if that's too graphic or not but um, I just want to try and explain it as much as I can because I tried to find videos like this online and there is quite a few but there's not a lot um, so I just wanted to share my experience and what has happened and um, yeah I just hope this helps someone out one day um, but yeah when I was in the hospital they had taken everything out and they said that my cervix was starting to close so I must have passed the baby either in the hospital or at home I'm sure I passed the baby at home and then the rest come out in the hospital because I passed quite a lot of hand handful like um clots and they were really 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 big. Um so yeah on the seventh I, I still have my appointment so today is the six yeah, today is the sixth, so I've got my appointment tomorrow for the scan and they'll confirm that the baby has either passed or I still have some, some stuff inside me. Um, I'm just hoping it's all, it's all out now because it's so hard to film so hard to talk about but so yeah I just hope it's all over with now because it is such a hard, hard thing to go through and um but so yeah I hope everything has passed and I'm hoping for to f I'm hoping for for everything to do it much better and I don't know how I would feel in the future with pregnancies because I'm very very scared to fall pregnant again because this is the second time now I've had a miscarriage and it's just very very difficult <laughs> very difficult to go through um how I'm feeling just now um my boobs were sore on the day of the miscarriage it was i was getting pains like if um someone was stabbing me in the bottom of my boobs um but all that's gone now the only pain i'm getting is very very tight cramps at the bottom of my stomach like if um if you had been in labor and you've in the and after you've given labor that's what it feels like it feels very very sore um the bleeding is i feel like it's starting to calm down now Um, it's still a little bit 
like little bits of clots coming out like not as bad as it was but a lot lot better um but that's that's the update just now um i will make another video later on but just now i just wanted to come on here and like everyone know what's happened because i have gotten I, I got a couple of messages asking for the baby and stuff but yeah i don't most of my family know now i think um especially my partner's side so brandon's family knows but um i wanted to come on here and just share my experience with you and hopefully one day i have a successful pregnancy um but just now i'm not sure last time i had a miscarriage i i think it was maybe three weeks after the miscarriage i had fallen pregnant again but this time i'm just not too sure yet i'm still trying to process everything that's happening i'm still emotional um i feel like i want to wait a little bit so it's just so hard but anyway i just want to say thank you so much for watching this video and getting this far um definitely definitely update you i don't know how long that will be i hope i can get a video up maybe next week or the week after and let you know what's going on but just now i'm gonna just take this time and just just be by myself for a little while and yeah just be be myself be by myself but anyway thank you so much for watching 